All right, I want to take a look at our forecast again. And, you know, I was walking around, Joseph, downtown. Mm -hmm. It seemed pretty mild, but I see yeah. you have some weather alerts behind you. So, okay, so we still have the flood warning there for the Columbia River. And the Willamette's pretty high, too, but that is not in any sort of flood warning at, at this time. It is below any sort of flood alert. So, we won't really focus on there. But if you go check out the Willamette, you're just walking through downtown Portland, you're going out there, you'll notice that it's pretty high out there. Okay, so the flood warning for the Columbia River it was set to originally expire today, but now it's until Thursday night and it's even possible that maybe it gets extended a little bit uh, further down the road there. You can see that where it's at right here is at the minor flood stage. So it's still going to impact some of those low lying areas, the parks, the recreation, the trails that are nearby. Let's zoom on in. Let's take a look at the Columbia River forecast. So this is the latest observation value. So it's a little over 16 feet. So that is in that minor flood stage right there. Notice that it kind of hangs out right around that mark. So probably Friday morning. So that's why they're expecting this to finally start to recede at that point in time and they could then eventually uplift that flood warning there at the Columbia River. OK, so notice a lot of locations in the green. We just have this one location right here, which is at Vancouver. That's the minor flood stage. You can see the green is no flooding, so a lot of locations again below that threshold right now. There's the view of the Columbia River. If you look even a little bit farther into the distance there, you can see the top of the St. John's Bridge. This is coming out of our Riverview Community Bank camera. Love this shot. We will still have some clouds kind of hanging around this afternoon, maybe even a few drops of rain. There is some moisture trying to pass on by as an area of low pressures kind of hurling a little bit of moisture in our direction. We're still watching the river. As I mentioned, there's the Columbia River right there. And heading into the weekend, sure looks like it may be kind of cool and we may even have some rain in the forecast. I'll show you the radar right now. There's some moisture to the north of us. So this is likely going to squeeze out some drops there for Cowlitz County and out towards the Oregon coast. But a lot of this here, a lot of this popping up is really just cloud coverage and we're not seeing any sort of rain actively falling. But again, I can't rule out just a raindrop or two as we go into the day. Area of low pressure churning right here towards the west. That's going to continue to impact us as we go into our Thursday as well. You can see there's some dry time though down to the south and east. That's because there's a massive ridge right here that was in place. It continues to build even stronger. So another round of some extreme heat for the midsection of the United States. For us, we have this drop in the jet stream. We call that a trough. That's going to be cool weather for us below average heading into the weekend. Notice it doesn't really have anywhere to go as we head into Friday and probably Saturday and Sunday. It's going to have to lift to the north, which is going to be very tough because that mountain and that blocking ridge is just to the east of us, producing a lot of heat. They have heat alerts extending through the whole Great Lakes region there just about and down to the southeast where they've seen some record breaking heat as well as just a lot of humidity. You see the temperature forecast there in the 90s and triple digits for us here in the Pacific Northwest. Cooler below average, as I mentioned, temperatures in the 60s and even some 50s out there. All right, some of the camera views. There's Portland low clouds there. McMinnville, we're breaking apart those clouds. We mentioned that we should get some sunshine today. It's still possible as we head into the afternoon into the evening hours. No, it's not a lot of moisture here popping up on our future cast. Tomorrow, maybe another round. But you know what? It sure looks like it's going to be pretty dry for tomorrow, too. So if you do see a rain shower, it's going to be very brief and it likely won't stick around very long. So you shouldn't have to worry about too much there. Friday's a different story, though. We are expecting more rain on Friday and then continuing into Saturday. That will be our wettest time frame. It's going to be that Friday to Saturday window. And we may even see a couple showers there for Father's Day. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about being out and about. I'll show you the forecast rain total real quick as we kind of zoom through the week and into the weekend. What do you think? Maybe another eight tenths of an inch there. We are already above our average for the month of June and we may get a little bit more. All right, seven day forecast 71 degrees on Thursday, Friday at 67, Saturday at 67. There's Sunday, Jenny. Remember, we were talking about models kind of shifting and maybe bringing in some more rain. It sure looks like it as we get to the weekend. I knew it. You Remember, knew it. I was predicting this yesterday. Yes. Yeah, yes. you're on to something. You're, you're seeing the trends. I should be a meteorologist. You should. Okay, maybe not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with a final check on your forecast. Stick around.